Hello, 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 hello. Thank God. Um, I am live now. I am live now and we want to get into the word of God and um, discuss some scriptures. So just just hold on. Just hold on. Um, I just hold on. The poster is still around. It's still here. All right, all right. I am back. Kabasi katatara bahai. Rikaba sokoto ribe be 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 siamanta. Shipa papa raba baba sante. Manta kia brosoto riki praki bonta. Manta rika baba shia monto rika basata. Ruku mama mama kurande leke be 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 siata. Shipa daka baba baba sante. Ura kia toto raka ba 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 shikuyanka. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Leko brashiki brado. Litatari ba 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 siamante. Ribe be 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 shikuyanka. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lekro shikuyanka brande. Let's start by praying. Let's start by praying. Let's start by praying. Let's start by praying in the name of Jesus. Liko praki monda riba bias tamande. Let's start by praying. Let's pray. Let's pray. Kabara ba 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 sonda ki ba shia tata riba ba 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 ba. Yende ke be 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 sukuyanta. Shipro sata ribro kabahai. Let's start by praying. Let's start by praying. In the name of Jesus, let's pray, let's pray for just five minutes. Lika paso koto rika mama mama mama. Shi me 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 ri me 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 ri yaka mama mama suku yanga. Sham bam 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 bari yaka usuku yaka tianda. Rika baro bobo siki praki bonte. Shi ba 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 santa rabahai. We love you Lord, we love you Jesus, we love you Holy Spirit. We love you, mighty God. Ring bang bang, riongo mangun jangam bang bang, ganden den 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 rambong don 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 shiki makam bamba. Varun don 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 shiyamanga. Father, you forgive our sins. Father, you heal our diseases. Father, you are merciful. Father, you are God. Father, you are a good God. Riki dikumato. Pandundengi na kalebro ngolosti katiaka Ripredi ando likrosi ke prade bosta We worship you Father, we give you the, all the glory We praise you God, we praise you God We praise you God, we praise you God We honor you, we honor you, we honor you Kima konde ribadiki nas yongate Shiprandu lukrosi ke prado liyata Parusto prante ne mengi kadiaste isit nanda kabau sa kadia talabahai. Let's pray for five minutes. Let's pray for five minutes. After prayer, we get in the word of God. We dig in scriptures and we learn. Let's pray. Let's pray. Every one of you, let's pray. Kapro satari katabo haste. Shime me 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 suma. May the anointing of God come into your house. May the anointing of God come into your house now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Riba ba 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 rika ba ba sante. Ura ba 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 shianta. Ji me 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 kura ma 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 sukuyanka. Kura dia para haste. May God's anointing come into your house and touch you and touch the sick and touch your business and touch your spouse. And touch your wife and touch everybody about you. In the mighty name of Jesus, God's anointing, let it come into your life now. Okay, Boriata, 
Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Leka broshika baruko siki bebe sukuyanta. Lika bebe bebe siamunta. Le kroti brada bahai. Liko braki monde. Shi baba baba santa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to welcome you to our wonderful broadcast where we are going to share about true faith today. I'm going to teach on the subject true faith. True faith. True faith. So before I say many things, let's um, get into the Bible. I want to read the scripture. Mark chapter number 11. Mark chapter number 11, order verse number 23 to 24. Verse 23 to 24. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall hear whatsoever he saith. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you shall have them. Very, very important. Very, very important. Now, verse number 22 says, And Jesus answering said unto them, have faith in God. So, before he said um, what you read in verse 24, he had told them to have faith in God. Now, on the margin of my King James Version, actually, Jesus said, have the God kind of faith. Have the God kind of faith. That's what he actually said. He said, have the God kind of faith. So, which means there is the God kind of faith and there is um, the human kind of faith. We can see that um, um, in the book of John. You remember Thomas. You remember Thomas after Jesus had been resurrected from the dead. He came to show himself um, to, the, to the disciples. And Thomas was not there. Thomas was not there. When Jesus came to show himself to the disciples, so, um, Thomas said something. Let's go to John chapter number 20. John 20. Verse number 25. The other disciple therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord, but he said unto them, Except I see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. That was Thomas. Thomas said, except I see him physically, I will not believe. So Thomas, he had the human kind of faith. The faith that is based on seeing in the natural. The faith that is based on feelings in the natural. Feeling something in the physical and seeing something in the physical. That was the faith Thomas had. It was a faith based on natural feelings and natural sight. All right? And that faith is limited. It is the Thomas kind of faith because Thomas exhibited that kind of faith. Of course, we know that he later on changed. Now, in John chapter number 21, verse 29, Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they. That ye have not seen and yet have believed. So Jesus said there is another type of group of people who believes even if they don't see with their natural eyes. They believe. So Christianity, it is actually based on faith. Actually, the name of Christianity is the faith. The way of faith. 
So we are of the faith. That's Christianity. And faith must be based on the word of God. Faith must not be based on what you see in the physical or on what you feel in your body, in your physical body. Faith, it is not something that we touch in the natural. Faith is what we touch in the spirit. It is of the heart. It is of the heart. Do you understand? It is of the heart. Remember what he said in, in Romans 10 from verse number 10. It says, with the heart man believes. With the heart man believeth. Romans 10 verse number 10. With the heart man believeth. That's faith. And in Hebrews 11, he said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So faith is the substance of things hoped for, and it is the evidence of things not visible to the physical eyes. That's faith. So if you say you believe, your belief must be based on the world. It must be based on what God says. It must be based on scriptures, not on what you see with the physical eyes. Not on what you feel in your body. It has nothing to do with feelings. It has nothing to do with what you see with the physical eyes. So true faith has got its origin from the word of God. And we're going to look at that. Let's go to Romans chapter number 10. Romans chapter number 10. We are going to see what is true faith. What is true faith? So Romans chapter number 10 it will, it will help us to answer that question. What is true faith? What is true faith? Romans 10. Right? Um, I want to read just one scripture. Verse number 17. So faith cometh by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So when you hear the voice of God, faith comes. So faith is based on hearing the voice of God. We have to hear the word of God. When you hear what the word of God, faith comes. So faith comes in the area that we hear. If you hear the word of God on healing, the faith for healing comes. If you hear the word of God on prosperity, faith for prosperity comes. If you hear the word of God on breakthrough, breakthrough faith comes. If you hear the word of God on salvation, saving faith comes. So in which area you are hearing the word of God, faith comes. Now, there is another dimension I want you to understand here. Faith does not come by just reading scriptures. No, it is not enough. Faith comes by hearing the voice of God. Adam and Eve were in the Garden of Eden. There was no Bible. There was no Bible. Noah was in the flood, in the, in the ark during the times of the flood. Even before the flood, Noah was hearing God and was building an ark before there was the flood. There was no Bible. Abraham was called by God and the Bible says Abraham is the father of faith, but there was no Bible. So how did these people believe they had God? They had God. God spoke to them and they believed. When God speaks, faith comes. Do you hear that? So they believed. Abraham was told by God in his ears. Abraham, you shall have a son. Abraham, get out of your father's land, of your country, your kindred, and go to a place I will show you. Abraham heard it and he believed. He believed. So what Abraham heard imparted faith into his heart and he acted. That's true faith. True faith is hearing the voice of God, believing that voice and acting on it. That's right, we are back again. That's true. So we're dealing with true faith here. Because remember there is fake faith and there is true faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We are back again. We are back again. Don't worry. So if you hear the voice of God, you produce true faith. Some of you, you wonder why I pray, but my things are not moving. You wonder why I fast. I do all these things, but my things are not moving. You have got a lot of questions. You are asking God these things. God, what must I do? God, what must I do? My friend, you must pray. Pray until you hear the voice of God. 
Pray until God speaks to you. You see, that's why it is not just go to read the Bible, but to meditate on the scriptures. Why am I saying meditating? Because meditating the word of God, you get access to the voice of the scriptures. Okay? So when you meditate, you get access to the voice of the scriptures. And the voice of the scriptures is the voice of God. That voice is what produces faith. When Peter walked on water, he did not read a scripture and he went on to walk on water. No. Peter heard Jesus calling him. Jesus said to Peter, come. And Peter walked on water because he heard Jesus. Now you, it is not just enough to read a scripture and jump to do something. No. Meditate on the scripture until you hear the voice of God from that scripture. Am I communicating here? I believe somebody is understanding what I'm saying now. Because you have to understand that true faith comes from hearing the voice of God. And the voice of God is the voice of the word. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word, and the word was to God, and the word was God. So the voice of the word of God is what I want you to hear. Don't just hear the words in the Bible. Hear the voice of the Bible. That's what I'm talking about. Hear what God is saying in the Bible. Hear that voice. And that voice is only accessible to those who meditate the word of God. If you don't meditate but merely read the word, you'll be like a person reading a newspaper. You will not get the voice of the word of God into you by merely reading the word. You must meditate. You must meditate. When you meditate, that's when you make your life a success. That you become prosperous when you meditate. Let's go to Joshua. The book of Joshua. You'll get it. Don't worry. You'll get it soon. You'll get it. You'll never be poor again. You'll never be in debt again. You never suffer again. And you never struggle again in your life. Man will be coming to you from all directions. Healing will be coming to you from all directions. You'll be well in your body. You'll be well in your system. John Joshua 1 verse number 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth. This true faith. When you have got faith, you voice, you speak the word. You speak the word. Remember 2 Corinthians 4 verse number 13. It says they believe that they spoke. We also believe and speak. So true faith, you speak the word. But you shall meditate day in, day and night. You shall meditate in the word of God day and night. Then he says, that you may observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then you shall make your way prosperous. And you shall have good success. So he says, if you meditate on the word, when you meditate on the Bible, you make your way prosperous and you have good success. Why? Because meditation is what connects you to the voice of God. When you meditate the words, you receive the voice of God. And the faith that makes things possible comes into you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is very important. Another aspect. You need to pray. Learn to pray. Pray until you hear the voice of God. Don't pray just for 10 minutes, 15 minutes and stop. No. Pray until you hear the voice of God. When you hear the voice of God in prayer, it is done. It means the miracle is accomplished. And God will do wonders for you. Are you listening to me? I want you to get this into your system. Because so many Christians out there, they are moving around with the fake faith and they think that they were true faith. Yet it is not working. You see, true faith is in a Christian deep, deep inside, but they exhibit the fake faith. They are not praying enough, meditating the word of God enough to reach into true faith. And I don't want you to miss it. Because if you miss this, your life will be stagnant for, for too long. If you miss this, you circulate on the same mountain for too long. And your life will be crippled. Now, let's, let's look at some examples in the scriptures of the people who exhibit the true faith. 
Okay? Look at Moses. Moses met God in the mountain when he was um, shepherding the, the sheep of Jethro. He saw the burning bush. And he went to see the burning bush. The bush was burning, but it was not consumed by the fire. So he went to see what is happening here. Now, when he approached, he heard the voice of God saying, Remove your sandals, for the place where you are standing is the holy ground. And God began to speak to the man. And he told him what to do. And the ministry is about to start in Egypt and in the wilderness, going to Canaan. So Moses acted because he had God. And all what Moses was doing, he was a success because he had God. Now, mind you, Moses did not just say, we are more than conquerors. We have got all power. So I'm going to stand before Pharaoh. And I'm going to tell Pharaoh to let the people go. And I'm going to put Pharaoh to shame. No! If Moses did that without hearing the voice of God, he was going to be in a very serious trouble. He was going to be captured by Pharaoh, be beaten, and be destroyed. But what did Moses do? Moses waited for God. And remember, in the beginning, Moses killed an Egyptian, trying to save Israel. And Pharaoh threatened to destroy Moses, and he ran away from Egypt into the house of Jethro, some miles away from Egypt. And after 40 years, God came back to Moses and spoke to him in the wilderness. Now look, Moses waited for 40 years to hear God. He was busy minding his business, shepherding the sheep. And God spoke to Moses. And what happened? When God spoke to Moses, Moses acted and he was a success. Look at Joshua. Joshua did not just lead Israel. Joshua waited for God to speak. God said, see, my servant Moses is dead. And I have now anointed you to take over the ministry and lead these people into Canaan. So Joshua was acting. On what God has said to him. Not on what he was thinking. Or on what he just read. No. He was acting on what God said. So true faith comes from hearing the voice of God. Hallelujah. And what must you do? You must pray my friend. You must pray. If it means praying for, the, for, for 4 hours. 7 hours. 10 hours. 12 hours. Until you hear God, do it. You must pray until you hear God. Pray until you hear God. If you don't do that, life will be hard. Life will be hard. You will not have breakthrough. You will not have breakthrough. Until you pray to an extent that you hear God, you will not have breakthrough. Until you meditate, you will not have breakthrough. Let me show you. Genesis chapter number 24. There is, there is a man here. Genesis 24, verse. Thank you, Jesus. Verse number 63. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field at the eventide. Isaac went out to meditate. No wonder why it was a success. You remember in, in, in a couple of verses in Genesis chapter number 26, verse number 12. Then Isaac sold in that land, and he received in the same year in hundredfold. And the Lord blessed him. And the man waxed great, and went forward, and grew until he became very great. Why? Because Isaac went to meditate. Isaac was meditating on the word of God. And Isaac was accessing the voice of God through meditation. And when he did that, he heard God and he sold in that land. And he became prosperous, he became a success. My friend, success is connected to the voice of God. If you don't hear the voice of God, you can never be a success. Let me repeat that again. If you cannot access the voice of God, you cannot be a success. If you cannot connect to the voice of God, you cannot be a success. Success, the secret of success 
is hearing the voice of God, what he commands, and doing it. Success in your life, success in your life is hearing what God is saying and doing it. Now listen to me. What God said to your friend, it is not the same thing he will say to you. It may be different. You must hear your own. What God is saying to you might be different to what he's saying to your next, next, your next door neighbor. So you must hear your own. What God is saying to you, hear your own. When you hear it and do it, you become a success. You become a success. That's, the, that, that, that's how simple it is. When we are God, it, can, it is not by anything else. I've got so many followers on Facebook. On this page, only I've got 60,000 plus followers. So many. On another page, I've got over 21,000 people following me. Another one has got 5,000 followers. And these people, they want to know how to become a success in life. And I'm sharing to you here, it is by hearing the voice of God. Why? Because the voice of God produces true faith. No one heard God and doubted him. You can't hear God and doubt him. No, you can't. When you hear God, you become a success. I want to read to you Psalms chapter number 1. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please share this video. Share this video. Let everyone hear this message. It's a life-changing message. I trust you are sharing this video. Psalm 1, verse number 2. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. Now listen to, uh, to the result of the one who meditates. Verse 3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. So when you meditate the word of God, you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever you do shall prosper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Why? Because meditation brings you into a connection with the voice of God. And the voice of God produces true faith. Glory to Jesus. Remember when Jesus said to Jairus, do not doubt, only believe. <laughs> Jairus, Jairus' daughter died and Jesus was going to raise up the daughter from the dead and somebody came with an evil report and said Jairus, your daughter is dead trouble not the master anymore Jesus heard it and Jairus was about to doubt and Jesus said do not doubt only believe that was enough for Jairus he believed in Jesus and his daughter was resurrected from from the day. She came back to life because Jairus the father believed. Are you hearing me? The woman of the issue of blood, she heard about Jesus. She heard about him. And when she heard about him, the Bible says she spoke in her heart. And I believe the Holy Spirit was working in her heart, speaking to her in her heart. That if you touch the hem of Jesus' garment, you'll be healed. And when she heard that, she went further to touch the hem of Jesus' garment and she was healed. What an amazing. After 12 years of spending all his oil and money to the doctors, pharmacists, um, um, physicians, ADC, all her money, she spent all her wealth and she was poor because of her condition. But when she touched Jesus on a single day by believing in Christ, she was healed. I don't know who's hearing me today. And I don't know how much you believe, but I want to I want to tell you something. Because you are watching this broadcast, your life will never remain the same again. The Holy Spirit is going to touch your business, it's going to touch your life, it's going to touch everything that concerns you, it's going to change you and make you a brand new person and lift you from the dungeon to sit with princes. It is going to raise you and make you a strong nation. The Holy Spirit is going to make you a giant. Maybe you have, you, have, you have fallen into some serious sin. It doesn't matter. If you come to him today, he will forgive you. Maybe you have got terminal sickness in your body, a terminal disease in you. You are healed as you are watching this broadcast now in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because your faith is stayed up. Your faith is raised. I see somebody here, you have got debt. 
Your debts are cancelled in the mighty name of Jesus. You are owing and they want to take your house. Listen to me. They will not take that house this month. I see you having that money to cancel the debts. In the mighty name of Jesus, God is touching you. I see someone here. Your name is Veronica. The Lord is telling me that you had free abortions. And you, are, you don't know what to do with it. Don't worry about it. Just say, Jesus, I am sorry because my Jesus is forgiving your sins. But don't do it again. Don't commit that sin again. God is with you now. I see someone here. Because I see a name like M. Your name starts with M. You are looking for a job. You are in South Africa. You want a job. You have been applied. In fact, you applied over 27 times. But listen to me. God is saying in this month, before the 30th of this month, you have a job. You will be employed. Thank you, Jesus. God is touching you. Something is happening already. I see someone, you are in India. You are in India and you are owing a lot of money. You are in India, you are owing a lot of money and don't know what to do. You are tired now. Listen to me. Take three days off. Go with your Bible into the prayer mountain. Pray for three days. Study your word, study your Bible and pray. God will give you a revelation and God will bring you out of that insurmountable debt. And you'll be free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is doing wonders. God is doing wonders. If you are on the wheelchair, boys, I see someone on the wheelchair now. Get up and begin to walk. Get up and begin to walk. In the mighty name of Jesus, get up from that wheelchair. Begin to walk. Begin to walk. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Send me your photos. Send me a video. Send me a video of this testimony. God has touched you. God has touched you. If you are HIV and AIDS in your body, boys, there is someone like Sarah and Samantha. You have got HIV in your body. God is telling me, you are being healed now in the mighty name of Jesus. Just touch mine on the screen. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I command sickness and that disease to depart from your body. You are healed in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, your life will never remain the same. There is something that God is doing in your life. And that thing must not stop. You are not created to suffer. You are not created to struggle. You are not created to be a failure. You are not created to be... A papa, you are created in the image and the likeness of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Refuse anything but Jesus did not die for. Refuse anything. Jesus did not die for you to be sick. He did not die for you to be poor. He did not die for you to suffer. Jesus died for you to be rich. Second Corinthians 8 verse number 9 says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus, that though he was rich, Yet for your sex he became poor. That you, through his poverty, you might be rich. That's what Jesus died for. He did not die for you to be poor. The Bible says, by his stripes we are healed. Jesus did not die for you to remain sick. He rose from the dead so that you be justified by faith. This is true faith. So right now, step into the glory. Step into your miracles. Step into your breakthrough. Step into your blessings. In the name of Jesus, right now, get up. Step right now into your blessings. Step right now into fortune. Step right now into the things of God. God has prepared good things for you. And I'm here. I'm going to pray. My name is Apostle Ali Sashibanda or Rev Ali. I'm going to pray for you. This is my job. God has called me to deliver you from wherever you are. You are going to come out. God is bringing you out of the dungeon, out of the pit. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. This is your time. You see, your time is not any other day. Today is your time. Believe with me. My God is touching you in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to keep on sending your testimonies to me and keep on sharing this video. Because even after this live broadcast, this video is going to touch someone and change someone. Why? Because the word of God cannot go stale. The word of God cannot go stale. The preaching of the word of God produces faith. And that faith will change your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are a wonder. You are a wonder. If somebody told you that you are ugly, tell that person you are lying. You are not ugly. But there's someone here, you always look at your face in the mirror. You wonder if you are ugly or you are beautiful. Let me, let, let me tell you something. You are fearfully and wonderfully met. You are not ugly. Believe what I'm telling you. Empty that way. All is well. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus Christ. Oh, glory. Oh, thank you, Holy God. Somebody, there is, there is someone here. You have been disappointed many times. Now, we no longer trust anything or anyone. 
you have been disappointed a lot. Now listen to me. I command the spirit of disappointment that has been following you. Get out in the name of Jesus. From today, there shall be no more disappointment in your life. You are free now from any kind of disappointment. And my God is now working in your life so greatly. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed. You know who is the blessed man? Someone of reason number one says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So don't walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Because the counsel of the ungodly does not produce faith. No stand in the way of sinners. Don't stand in the path or the ways of sinners. No sit in the seat of the scornful. Don't sit on the seat of the scornful. So what must he do? But his delight is in the law of the Lord. So delight in the word of God. Delight in the law of the words. And in his law does he meditate day and night. That man is blessed. And I see you are that person. And God has blessed you. Hallelujah. Keep liking this video and keep sharing. My God is, is a wonderful God. He's changing you. He's transforming your life. You never remain the same. I know what I'm talking about. I trust in this God. And I believe it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, if you, have, if you are sending me your prayer request on this page, please write them in number form. Number one, that is the number two. Brother. Put them in number. In number form. Write all the prayer points in number form. I want to read each and every of your prayer points and pray for you. And I told you before, it's my job. I pray for you. And if you want to donate something to my ministry, we have shared the PayPal or the EcoCash if you are in Zimbabwe. You can um, use my PayPal if you are not in Zimbabwe. You can use our PayPal if you are away. It is on the title of this video. Let's go on the title of this video and get the details there. And share. Hallelujah. Share this video with everyone. My God is working something in your life. My God is wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So, your life is turning around today. It's turning around today. By the time you wake up tomorrow, you wake up with joy. You wake up with smiling on your face. You will you, you be well. Now, listen to me. I want to hear this very well. I just heard the Holy Spirit telling me now. God is saying that tomorrow morning, by 9 a.m., tomorrow morning, you shall have surprises. Somebody is going to call you on your phone. And you'll be surprised. So there will be surprises coming for you. Surprises coming for you. So don't switch off your phone tomorrow at 9 a.m. So between 9 o'clock and half past 9 tomorrow, don't switch off your phone. Even if you're at work, please turn on your phone between 9 o'clock to half past 9. Only 30 minutes. Somebody is going to call you and it's going to bring good news to your life. What you've been waiting for, you are going to be answered tomorrow morning. In the name of Jesus. Yes. If you share this video also, the miracle will double. So to some it will triple. To some it will, it, 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 it will quadruple. And it will be great. You will see the glory of God. You will have never remain the same now. You see, all we do in Christ is based on faith. If you believe what I'm telling you, if you only believe this, life will never remain the same. That's what Jesus said. Believe. Now, I want to read the scripture to you. Let's go to Matthew chapter number 9. Matthew 9. Remember um, um, this story. Maybe I, I have to give you a brief background of this story. What was happening? Matthew chapter number 9, um, verse number 29. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 9, verse number 29. Hallelujah. Then touched ye their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. Now Jesus touched the eyes of the blind men who were following him. And he said, according to your faith, be it unto you. So this blind man will follow Jesus and he touched their eyes. And he said, according to your faith, be it unto you. So it is always according to your faith. It is always according to your faith. So if you believe that tomorrow by 9 a.m. you will receive a phone call of good news, you will receive it. If you believe that God is visiting you tonight and show you a dream in the night that will change your life, you, you have the dream. Now, if you believe what I'm saying to you right now, it will be according to your faith in your life. Or you will change. So just believe it. Our God is a good God. Our God is a good God. He doesn't send evil to us. He doesn't punish us with evil. Our God is a good God. He doesn't treat us with evil. Our God is a good God. 
It gives us good gifts, good things. Always, always. So receive your job, receive a breakthrough, receive a miracle, receive that marriage that you wanted, receive the fruit of the womb, receive the money that you're waiting for, receive it in, in thousands of dollars, in thousands of rands, thousands of pounds daily, receive that money in the mighty name of Jesus. Our God is a good God. It will be according to faith. Matthew 9, verse number 29. Then touched ye their eyes, saying, According to your faith be it unto you. That's what Jesus said. Now I want you to see what he said in verse number 27. Verse number 28, sorry. And when he was coming to the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. Now Jesus asked these blind people, Do you believe that I am able to do this? So the blind people said, Yes, Lord, we believe. Then he said, According to your faith, be it unto you. Verse number 30, And their eyes were opened. And Jesus really checked them, saying, See that? No, no, no. Now Jesus opened their eyes. Their eyes were opened. Why? Because they believed in Jesus. Now I open your life. I open the doors of your life that have been closed by the enemy. Because you believe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because anyone who believes here, I open the door of your marriage. I open the door of your business. I open the door of financial breakthrough. Receive your financial breakthrough now. The mighty name of Jesus. Any witch that is sitting on your finances, die. Any witch that is sitting on your marriage, die. Any witch sitting on your foot of the womb, die. Any witch sitting on your progress and prosperity, die. You are free now in the name of Jesus. According to your faith, be it unto you. According to your faith, it is unto you. Don't doubt it. Your life is changing. And remember, I am online, every, I will be online every day, 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock, Central African time. I will be online. It will be GMT plus 2. I will be online, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. I will be online, praying for you, praying for you. And your life will never remain the same. You see, I will be online, teaching you the word of God. I will be preaching every day for an hour and praying for you. And God will be doing one. So go and tell people that Apostle, the prophet of God, will be online at 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Central African time. And I'll be here, okay, doing wonders, miracles, and signs in the name of Jesus. Whatever that you believe God for, you'll find it here. You'll find it here. If you believe that God can change your life forever, it will happen. If you believe that from today, your poverty is over. It is over. If you believe that, you shall never be poor again. You shall never be poor again. I carry grace. God gave me power. God gave me power. The power that God gave me, I use it in ministry. It is the power for ministry to change you. It is the power for ministry to transform your life. That's why I'm an apostle and a prophet. You see, I am an apostle and a prophet of your life to change you. God the power so i don't doubt the power don't doubt it anymore don't doubt it believe and you see the hand of god now do you remember what god said in isaiah chapter number 54 let's read it let's go there isaiah chapter number 54 thank you jesus let's go there All right verse verse number one Sing, O oh, by thou that didst not be, break forth into singing, and cry aloud, thou that didst not prevail with child. Higher, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the maid, said the Lord. Glory to Jesus. Hey! Whew. I want to read this in Amplified Vision. This is too much. Let me get my amplified vision. Hey, thank you, Jesus. This is too much. Now let me let me get the calibro santi abo me coma curati atala hoste jipa rakuta tianta manta bahai. God, sing O barren one. Isaiah fifty four verse number one. Jesus. Sing, O barren one, you who did not bear, break forth into singing, 
and cry aloud. You who did not travail with child. For the spiritual children of the dissolute are will, will be more than the children of the married wife, says the Lord. Oh, glory to Jesus. Oh, glory to Jesus. Wow. Hey, after this broadcast, I'm going to meditate on this scripture more and more. It has touched me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Shall we worship him now? So you worship him. So you worship him. Praise the Lord Jesus. We worship you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. We worship you. We worship you, Lord. We magnify your name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. These people here are blessed. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lift up your hands and worship him. Worship him. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy of all worship. Let's worship him. Kabari Kawasata. Rika ba 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 monte. In these last five minutes, let's worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Liko ba rika ba. Manta ka ba 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 rika ba. Oh, you worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord touch you. And may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord change your life. As you worship Him now, your life never remains the same. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you have got any questions, please you can forward and write in the comment box. I'll read the comments. If you have got any query or any prayer request, write in the comment box. I'll read. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you.
bless you. God bless you in the name of Jesus. We had a wonderful time. And uh, we praise the Lord. Please keep following me. Go to my YouTube channel, Star TV. Subscribe, like it. This video, I'm going to post it also on that YouTube channel, Star TV. Star TV. That's our YouTube, YouTube channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Like this page, Fire Prayers. Share this video everywhere and tell people to like this page. God bless you. I love you so much. I'm praying for you and I'm with you in prayers. No matter where you are, distance is not a barrier. I'm reaching you there. God bless you. My name is Apostle Alistair Chibanda or simply Rev Ali. Affectionately called Rev Ali. God bless you and I love you so much. Amen. Maybe you want my, my phone number. It's plus two six three plus two six three seven seven three thirty nine thirty nine fifty eight plus two six three seven seven three thirty nine thirty nine fifty eight. I would appreciate if you send me a WhatsApp message. I will reply you or you can go to our email and, 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 and you can send us an email. God bless you. We love you so much. And I pray for you. Please don't forget to 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 like our youtube channel star tv star tv don't forget it i love you god bless you amen